Good day. Welcome to another section of book review. Yeah. I am Tolu Steven and with me is Tolu Ashi Adonade. Good day, everyone. Oh, great. So, before we jump right into what we have for the day, I want to appreciate every one of us that have been following up, that have been reading, buying our books, and probably giving a few feedbacks. We also want to encourage us to do more yeah. and especially give us feedback. We want to know your thoughts and how your experience was for the season. Okay. Quickly, let's go into what we have for today. Yeah. By reviewing of the book by our father, Reverend Sandra Yutumobi, The Strength, the strength of, of a strength of Leader. leader. Yeah. Wonderful material. This is very instructive at this season. Depending on what we're trying to learn mm -hmm. about living under authority. Mm -hmm. To understand the authority you're living under, you want to know um, what drives this person, how he's being led, and what's the energy is putting into this thing helps you understand how to submit to that kind of leadership, right? You know, we learned about Moses, how Moses was a very strong leader and a few other persons from scriptures, even from our day-to-day um, -day experience, even our father being a very strong leader. I won't, I won't take all of the time to, you know, give you my experience with this material. I want my partner to, you know, tell us a lot of our own experiences and to just something about the book. All right, so reading through this book, you see there are certain understanding that I got. Mm -hmm. So the topic is the strength of a leader. Now it is, I got to understand that it is expedient as a leader to have some degree or some level of strength. Of course. Because it is just so mm -hmm. impossible for you to, uh, to, to be a leader over some set of people and not have strength. Because really, mm -hmm. it is not easy to lead people. So, and strength, it is actually needed for any task to perform a, a task and be good at it. You really need some level of strength, be it physical or spiritual. So, it is very, very expedient as a leader because you'll be doing a whole lot of things. You, you are going to set the pace for them. You are going to teach them a whole lot of things. You are going to be, you are just going to be a lot of things to them. You're going to minister to them. You're going to be a model to them. You are just going to do a whole lot of things that you yourself might not even know, but it is just part of your package as a leader. So you would, you would need a level of strength to be able to sustain yourself. Because at a point, <laughs> And let me not lie to you, at a point you will want to feel tired and, but it's the inner strength that you've gathered through the help of God that will still yeah, sustain you to keep on running and doing the, necess the necessary things required of Beautiful. you. Beautiful. Thank you very much. Okay, so our, our father said that leadership is simply a ship captained by a leader. Yeah. yeah. That's one reason why as we try to understand, you know, living under authority, we want to also understand the person, the leader is characteristics is nature, right? There's this interesting part in scripture where, where this man, the centurion, we like to call him, said, when he asked to just come in his servant, he said, I'm a man under authority. Okay. So he must yeah. have to a level of authority to be able to say, I'm a man under authority, yeah, right? Exactly. And it takes, because he's a leader in himself, he was able to understand that there's something in leadership that gives you um, more like, the upper hand to be able to carry out yes, that effectively. Yes, and that's what yes. we have categorized into strength, what our father has written for us as being strength. Yeah. As we're telling our young people in this season to arise and come up as Isaac and right. perform your task, you need strength. Yeah. That was said, arise strength. and put on your strength. Yeah. These are basic things we want to, you know, just remind us of as we look at this book. And we're trusting that as you also check yourself, you'll we'll find a lot of materials from here. Yeah. Before I hand over to my partner to round off and tell us a few things, I want to also please quickly encourage us to buy books, read books. books. We have a few of our father's books. The few of them I can really mention from here. She's trying to be that is, is here. The blessing, we have a blessing yeah. here. We have um, the spirit Little of faith. faith. Then there's dominion. Yeah. There is running well in life and ministry and all that. It, the, the, the list is long. Doing greater works, the Lord's prayer. And you know, if you have our books that were probably trust. shown you before, yes, yeah. Wikitrust and all that. The power of the good planning. We actually, we actually, we are, we are, we are overwhelmed by the wonders we have seen from all these materials. And we're encouraging you to get in the act of buying the books, get in the act of reading, Read, especially digest. to understand your leader. You want to yeah. follow his pattern, to so want to understand his mindset by reading his materials. Yeah. Okay, please just give us your last so, word. So, like I always said, uh, you don't need me to give you the whole gist. Please buy the book. And lastly. There's a part of the scripture that says, if thou faith in, this, in the days of adversity, your strength mm. is small. So gather up strength, 
like get things read books get things inside mm-hmm. and through that you know you'll be able to sustain yourself even in the days of adversity so thank you thank you very much well, i'm so very grateful thank you for this opportunity to come before you again before until coming next time so that like you will have consumed this material, you will be a very good leader yourself. Because yeah. a follower, you are training to become a leader. We trust that this material will help you and other ones as you get um, acquainted with them. God bless you. Have a very wonderful season. Bye. Bye.